Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a fun origami kind of crafty project that many of you probably are familiar with. It's a really simple project but a lot of fun. It's uh, to make a little notebook uh, using just one single sheet of paper. Now this particular origami or craft because you do use scissors, uh, requires that you use paper that's rectangular in shape, so you can use a U.S. letter size. This is an A4 size paper because I'm here in Japan, um, but really anything kind of works. You can kind of play around with it to see what kind of resulting piece and size dimensions you get, but it's just a quick and easy way to make a little notebook if you want to have a cute little book or you want to make a cute little greeting card with a few extra pages. It has a total of uh, four pages, eight if you count front and back, or if you just count the outer parts as the cover, it leaves you with two sheets in the middle. So, um, and depending on which way you hold it, there's pockets, it's all really cool, and it's super easy. So, uh, it's just a fun thing to do, great simple project to do with kids. They can write their own stories inside and color and draw pictures and things like that. So it's a lot of fun that way too. You can glue lots of them together or connect them in ways so that you can have a, a bigger book. So there's just so many different fun things you can do with this project. Um, there's also lots of different variations of the ways to fold it. I know, I don't know if necessarily this is the only way to do it, but this is the way I've seen it done here in Japan, at least. Um, you start off here just by folding your paper in half. And this is a piece, this is an origami that kind of can be a little tricky because it does sort of show a little edge sometimes depending on you know, how you fold and how you cut. So don't try to shoot for something perfect. It might be off just a little bit and be okay with that. So I fold in half and I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it in half again. I'll see how exact I can make mine, but no guarantee. <laughs> so I've uh, folded in half long ways. I fold it in half again and I'm just gonna fold it in half again. Always every time long ways so that you just keep folding this in half. And this is why you're you're definitely going to get some creases that are a little off because every time you fold over, you're kind of ruining the chance of getting a perfect crease. But I'm just going to fold up, open everything up to this part here. You'll notice down here I've got my open flaps. Up here I have a nice edge. You're going to take your scissors and I'm just going to cut right along the center crease right down to the middle. So I'll cut on that line just to the middle though. We don't want to go beyond that. I'm like shaking. Ah! <laughs> There you go. <laughs> then if you uh, open things up here, you'll notice you've got a nice piece of paper with the center part here. What I like to do is just get everything folded in half. The right side was already folded with a nice mountain crease. This side I'll just do again. If you just push on it a little, you'll open up the center part. Push it in, bring everything together, and then you just basically choose where you're going to fold over. And you could choose, you know, which way you want to fold. You might find a more natural way that goes depending on the way you folded everything so that you get a smoother edge. When I was folding the other way, it looked terrible. <laughs> so you want to just kind of play with it and see which way kind of feels right based on the folds you've made. But you can see you get this cute little finished book. And, uh, you know, depending on the way you look at it, um, if I flip it over, for example, I get like little files here that I can use on every other page if you wanted to keep things in there. You can also um, you know, hide things inside here, but it's a straight through, so you don't want to put anything in there, but you could kind of put something in there to keep. But lots of different ways you can use it. I like to use it this way personally, where I don't have that the folder part opening, and that way I just have more of a kind of a solid book. I have solid edges on the top, and that gives me a nice little finished book. So. This is uh, a common fold that we use a lot of times here for sticker stickers that you can get. You get a whole sheet of stickers and it's all perforated so you can collapse it down into this kind of a notebook size. So it's a really common kind of thing that you see here. But um, just a fun, quick and easy way if you, you know, wanted to take a quick number of sketches but kind of wanted to separate things by ideas. So many fun uses for it. So I'm also going to do some printables for this when, once I uh, get a chance here for kind of for back to school making some sort of like... Uh, uh, composition notes and things like that to kind of uh, and some Japanese style school notebooks to kind of share with you guys so that you can see those. Uh, they'll be of course in slightly miniature form but uh, kind of a fun thing to have around so um, I'll have lots of other fun projects to share with you guys as well so uh, check back for those in the future. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!